The soothing sounds of a babbling brook greet the morning. Brilliant floral colors and lush green lawn provide a pleasant respite from the day's activities. This beautiful garden is located in a most unlikely place, in the center of a high-tech, state-of-the-art manufacturing facility located in Mooresville, North Carolina. This is Machusta Compressor Corporation of America. Machusta Compressor Corporation of America is a subsidiary of Machusta Electric Industrial Company Limited, headquartered in Osaka, Japan. Machusta, also known as Panasonic, is a global giant with over 240,000 employees, making more than 14,000 products with sales in excess of $56 billion. Mecca, Machusta Electric Corporation of America, is the headquarters group for Machusta's manufacturing and sales operations in North America. The company's brand names, National, Panasonic, Techniques, and Quasar, are recognized worldwide for both quality and innovation among consumer and industrial customers. Machusta's industrial activities have enabled the company to carry out the will of the founder, Konosuke Machusta, who directed that we should contribute to the lives of the people in the countries where we do business. In line with this philosophy and company policy, Machusta is continuing to expand local production of its products. Machusta has already invested over $700 million in North American facilities and equipment. $120 million of this investment was made in 1989 when ground was broken in the Mooresville Business Park. Plans call for additional investments, bringing this total to $165 million and over 500 employees. The Mooresville plant is the fourth of Machusta's air conditioner compressor manufacturing plants. Other manufacturing facilities are located in the cities of Kasatsu and Kofu in Japan and Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Machusta's ability to produce smaller, quieter and higher quality compressors has made the company the largest air conditioning compressor manufacturer in the world. Machusta Compressor Corporation of America has the latest state-of-the-art technology for manufacturing efficient air conditioning compressors. While this technology is important to producing a quality product, the most important part of this American factory is its American resources, the people. Machusta makes people before it makes products. Following this philosophy, MCCA has sent over 100 of its employees to Japan and Malaysia for extensive training. These people, along with their fellow employees, are working with highly automated production lines and precision test equipment in clean, well-organized workshops to produce quiet, efficient air conditioning compressors. The major components of the compressor are the pump, stator, and rotor. Most of the parts that make up these components are manufactured here in our Mooresville plant. Let's visit the heart of MCCA, its production area. The process begins here in the machine shop where the individual pump assembly parts are machined to tolerances measured in microns. A typical process begins with robots placing rough castings onto a production line. Robots then place the rough castings into computer numerically controlled lathes where they are rough machined. The beginning step in the transformation to precision components. Next, the parts, in this case the cylinders, are automatically transferred to machining centers. Here, approximately 18 different drilling, reaming, and tapping operations are performed to precision tolerances that are automatically controlled by the CNC controller. After each critical process, well-trained operators periodically select samples throughout the production shift and measure to ensure strict specifications are met. The final machine process consists of buffing and chamfering. Here, all sharp edges and burrs are removed to ensure maximum efficiency after the parts are assembled. An integral part of our production process is quality control. After all machining operations, parts are 100% checked with automatic measuring devices to ensure strict quality standards are met. Twice each shift, samples are also taken to the measuring lab for further quality control testing, such as roundness, roughness, and cylindricity. 
Each part must meet Mashusta's tough tolerances before the lot can be used for assembly. Pump assembly begins with the cylinders being loaded onto the production line. The cylinder height and the width of the vane slot are automatically measured before the assembly process begins. Valves and valve stops are automatically assembled to the upper bearing. At upper bearing centering, the cylinder, piston and shaft are all checked for a perfect match. And the upper bearing is centered and bolted in place on the cylinder. The valve cover is put into place, bolts are tightened and torque is automatically checked. Once the lower bearing is in place, the pump is complete. After a final check for proper rotation, the pump is ready for compressor assembly. The motor for the compressor consists of a rotor and a stator. The core laminations for both parts are stamped simultaneously from coal roll steel by a 300 ton press. The tack controller constantly measures the thickness of the steel as it enters the press. Since core stack height is very critical in electric motors, the tack control automatically tells the press how high to make the stack based on the thickness of the rolled steel. The press is capable of operating at 300 strokes per minute. After stamping, the stator and rotor cores are annealed. Then, the rotor cores travel to die casting and the stator cores travel to the winding room. At die casting, aluminum ingots are melted in a blast furnace to be used during the die casting process. The rotor cores are placed into the die casting machine by a robot. Another robot pours the molten aluminum into the machine which injects the aluminum throughout the inside of the core. Each rotor is 100% inspected. Starting torque is checked and the inside diameter is verified. The stator begins the winding process in the winding room where the date code and part number is stamped on the top of the core. Slot insulators are automatically inserted into the stator and the stator travels to the winding machine where it receives its auxiliary and main windings. In the winding process, the wire is formed into coils, which will match the slots in the stator. The number of turns in this process is critical and is controlled by a computer. Once the winding is complete, it is then inserted into the stator by the winding machine. A robot forms the auxiliary winding so the stator is ready to receive its main winding. Once the main winding is inserted, the wire ends are cut to the proper length, stripped, and color-coded sleeves and terminals are attached. Operators form the wire end to the proper position for lacing and the stator travels to the lacing machine. The automated lacing process ensures that all of the wiring will stay in place while the motor is in operation. Final inspectors perform electrical checks for rotation, winding insulation, resistance, and high voltage. The stator is inserted in the shell tube, which will become the compressor body. Compressor assembly is where the pump, rotor core, and stator all come together to form the compressor. Here the rotor is fitted to the pump shaft. Special gauging is placed over the rotor pump assembly to keep the rotor and stator aligned during the assembly process. Now the stator, in its shell, is placed over the rotor pump assembly. The assembly travels to an automatic three-point MIG welder which welds the pump and rotor assembly to the compressor body. Next, the upper shell is placed on the compressor body and readied for welding. Automatic MIG welders weld the upper and lower shell and base plate into position. 
Automation and special features help to ensure this critical process is performed both efficiently and accurately. The final assembly step positions the accumulator and brazes it in place. The completed compressor is tested in the characteristics room. Next, the compressor is placed on an overhead conveyor that carries it through an electro deposition paint bath. It emerges with a rust resistant coat of paint. Any air and moisture is removed by dehydration. The compressors receive a final oil and nitrogen charge before going on to final inspection. Each unit must pass a series of final inspection tests before being packaged for shipment to customers. After the compressors pass the final tests, they are loaded on pallets for packaging and shipment. Our marketing plan, which calls for exporting our products to Taiwan, Japan, Europe and China, is already being realized. We shipped our first shipment of 3,600 compressors to China on April 16, 1992. At Majusta Compressor Corporation of America, quality is our competitive edge. It is honed by constant attention and dedication. Our quality process includes stringent testing of motor characteristics such as input power and current to ensure our final product meets our customers' requirements. A calorimeter duplicates actual compressor operation. This three-hour test checks performance, power consumption, BTU capacity, and provides an energy efficiency rating. The frequency and decibel level of our compressors under operating conditions are also measured. At MCCA, we believe quality is everyone's responsibility. Small teams, called Kaizen circles, meet regularly to devise ways to meet and improve our quality. Kaizen is a Japanese word that means continuous and constant improvement. Very appropriate for meeting our quality challenge, 100% customer satisfaction. Manufacturing a product is one thing. Manufacturing a quality product is quite another. Our corporate slogan, Breakthrough, reminds us to break away from traditional thinking, to seek new technologies, manufacturing systems, and sales activities that will prepare us for the next century. We look forward to the future with confidence that we will increase our product lines and increase our employment. We will be active corporate citizens and we are committed to making contributions to this community in which we work and live.